the density of a solid using using a spring balance and a measuring cylinder. Now, for this, we do not require the overflow can, so we can remove it. We do not require this also. This we require a measuring cylinder and a spring balance. So, by using these two things that is a spring balance and a measuring cylinder, we can also determine the density of a substance of a solid object. Now, let us see what is density equal to. What is density? Yes. Mass upon volume. Fine. So, density is mass divided by its volume. Unit of mass? Yes. Kg per meter. Fine. So, unit is kilograms per meter cube. So, we will find out the mass of the object that is by weighing it in air. So, for that let us see what observations we have to take. So, one is weight of the object. Mass and due to and gravity. Mass, mass is the quantity of matter contained in a body. So, let us see what is density equal to? Yes, yes. Density is equal to mass upon volume. Okay, come and write. Who will tell the unit of density? Anyone? Okay, you come. Ma'am, ki ma kilogram per meter cube. Okay, right here. Density of mass is kilograms. Density of volume is meter cube. So, unit of density will become kilograms per meter cube. Okay, yes. Now, what is the difference between mass and weight? We have used the word mass here. What is the difference between mass and weight? Yes. Ma mass is a scalar quantity, whereas ma weight is a vector quantity. Uh, fine, but you have to first define what is mass and what is weight. Yes. Ma mass is the uh, quantity of matter contained. Um, um, in a uh, body, yeah. yes, right. And, uh, and uh, weight, weight is, is the uh, product of mass and acceleration due to gravity. But we define weight as the force with which an object is attracted towards the earth. So, mass is quantity of matter contained in a body or present in a body and weight is the force with which any object is attracted towards the earth. Fine? Yes. Mass does not change with the, uh, it does not vary with the place, whereas weight does, weight does vary with the place. Yes, because mass is the amount of matter which is present in a body. So, that does not change, it remains constant everywhere. As she has rightly said, and weight varies because weight is the product of mass and acceleration due to gravity. So, as the value of g changes from place to place, the value of weight will change, but mass will not change, it will remain constant everywhere. 
then can anybody tell how can we measure mass and how can we measure weight yes ma'am mass can be measured using a spring balance whereas weight can be measured using a physical beam balance no mass is measured with a pan balance or with a beam balance or a physical balance whereas weight is to be measured with the spring balance weight is to be measured with the spring balance we are suspending it here like this to find out its weight okay now let us take the observations for this so we'll find out its weight in air we'll find out uh, let us take the observations weight of object object in air we have already measured and the weight of this object in air was if you remember 65 grams now for volume what will we do we'll take this measuring cylinder and we'll note down the initial reading of water in the measuring cylinder so we'll note down the initial reading of water this is for volume we'll find out the initial reading of water in the measuring cylinder how much is it one of you come and read it how much is the reading no for reading for wait for 1 minute for noting down the reading in the measuring cylinder we have to record yes we have to read the lower meniscus of the water yes so we yes ma'am why only lower meniscus because see the level of the water when you see in the measuring cylinder is like this it is concave so we have to take the reading for the lower meniscus because it is it is concave so all transparent liquids they have a lower meniscus and all opaque liquids like mercury they have a convex meniscus so we take the upper meniscus we read the upper meniscus whereas for water as it is transparent we'll read the lower meniscus yes so what is meniscus can anybody tell me i've used the word meniscus here what is meniscus um, by seeing the diagram can you can you think of what is meniscus yes the extreme uh, point of uh, the the liquid extreme point i mean the, the no not extreme point yes and please tell it is the shape of the liquid it is the shape of the liquid that is this is concave here so we'll read it from here this is called the meniscus with the container it is the shape of the liquid with the container and the air So this is called the meniscus. So we'll read the lower meniscus of water in this, and we'll record the observation. Forty. Okay. So initial reading of the water is forty. Now, when we'll put this object in the liquid, we'll see the final reading. Now, the difference in the two readings will give you what? Can you tell me? will tell us the volume, volume of the object so i'll take this object and we'll try to immerse it we'll have to take more water in this i think now the level of water is 80 now we'll immerse it and we'll see come from that side and see how much is the final reading of water this 
So, the volume of the object comes out to be 10 milliliters. Okay. Now, to find out the density, we have to take now, this is weight of the object in here, this is 65, we can say it is gram weights, but if we take mass, it will be 65 grams. So, now, density we can write down as This was 65 grams and its volume came out to be 10. So, this is grams per milliliter. So, we can convert this into kilograms per meter cube by multiplying it with 10 to the power of minus 3. So, how much it comes out to be? So, this is the density of the solid object which we have taken. Anything else you want to know? Any question? I will be able to perform this experiment individually? Yes, 